All right, so uh, I seen a clip this morning. On and help me with this, uh, cause you you the basketball guy. Help me with this. I seen a clip this morning where what's my man that won us? Well, he didn't win a stand up contest, but he, Aaron Gordon. Yeah, Aaron Gordon. Aaron, Aaron Gordon was covering uh, Edwards, and Edwards was you know he was doing this Michael Joy, you know, going between the legs, all this kind of stuff, and he ended up taking it to the rack. He got by him, got to the rack. And everybody know he was trying to drive. Like, if you're a defensive player, you already know. Let me get ready to get over there because he's trying to get to the hole. When he got by Aaron Gordon and got to the hole, the joker rotated over late. And Aaron Gordon just kind of looked at him. And, like, his shoulders kind of like, you know that look when you look at a person like, man, what the hell you doing, bro? And, like, they called a timeout. Everybody got off the, off the bench. Nobody didn't say nothing to Joker. Everybody was looking straight, like on the court. Joker right on the sideline, like he right on the baseline. And nobody ain't looking in his direction. Everybody looking on the court. You know when somebody fucking up, but you don't want to look at them because they got a certain level of clout or whatever? That's what I got. So you saying, why, why do you feel like, because I was mad that the NBA is not coming down on him. You say he just won the MVP again. And, and that's what I'm looking at right here. Like, I, I seen him. Like, he, he, so if you don't play good defense and all that you're doing is like just using your body and put your hands up, you ain't gonna really never get in foul trouble. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna exert a lot of energy on defense. So you got more, more energy for offense. Right. But this goes back to what Gibber Arenas was saying. They don't play defense. Get frustrated. Stop. Yeah. So I think that was going to happen. A lot of people ain't really going at him because they're so worried about getting back on defense. So I mean, is, is he? So I really haven't watched him play like that. I see this offense stuff, but does he? When he decide to play defense, can he play defense? I mean, he's just a big body, but no, nah, he really can't play no defense. Like I, I, I don't know his stats yet. And I can probably bet anybody that anybody want to bet that Joker probably have he probably because just let me say this just because he don't play defense that good he's more durable and he get to put up more offensive numbers and that's who win the MVP. Now, in my opinion, I rather I would have went with SGA this year, Shea Gilchrist Alexander because he he durable just like everybody else and he play on both sides. He he got great defense, so it's like if we get one one way players. MVPs now. Huh. The most about, so what we're saying yeah. now in the NBA is that what we're saying now in the NBA is okay not to play defense. We're gonna get the most valuable player to the person that scored a lot of points. But get assists. But but is he the most? Does he does he score the most points though? Not in the league. Luca led the league in scoring this year. The Joker never led the league in uh, scoring. But what he do, what he does the best is he do assists a lot. Because everybody's scared to play one on one. Because he just he, he like he like Tyson Fury of basketball. He a big guy that lean on you. If you ever watch Tyson Fury box, Tyson yeah, Fury just lean, lean on you, punch. You know what I mean? He wear you down. And that's what Joker do on offense. He lean on you. He wear you down. Now you get tired. So that's why. Everybody that's why. That's play why the White Howard. That so now the White Howard should become a high free agent if you in the West. 
Cause hey. the white he can't he can't wait down the white Howard. Nope. Hey, the white George boy, we stick together. Hey, hey, I might get you back in the league, folks. Yeah. That's who he is. But my point is, the MVP, I mean, the, the NBA got to start giving people uh, more valuable players uh, because of their, their offense, because of their, just their offensive skills. The most valuable player to me is, is, a, is a two-way player. You're a two-way player when you become the most valuable well, player. Well, this, this is why I think they gave it to him, though. They had the number one record in the league? Nope. Not close. They, they didn't have the first seed? No. They had the oh. second seed. So they, lost the top, they, thought they lost in the top record OKC, once again. OKC is the number one seed. But, hey, they play defense on both ends. Hey, look, look, hey. Look, they wrap this up, man, like a bad storm on coming. I got to get my cows in. All right, then, man, be easy down there. All right. All right.